What's up, you guys? guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Audrey. And I am Hui. And we are currently traveling around Vietnam. We just finished our three-day stay here in Hanoi, and now we are heading to Ha Long Bay. So Ha Long Bay has been a bucket list item for me. I am excited, but also a little bit nervous because I do get motion sickness, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get sick or not. Hopefully not crossing my fingers. Should be just fine. Should be just fine. But yeah, still excited regardless. And we just got notified by the front desk that the driver is here so let's get going it is an hour into our car ride and we are now taking a quick break as a rest stop this is actually a pretty nice of a rest stop they have shops and stuff so we're just gonna walk around and see Alright guys, we finally made it to the port. It was a 3 hour car ride with a 25 minute stop at a rest area. We now just checked in and we are waiting for the small boat to transfer us to the big cruise where we will spend the next 2 day and 1 night cruising with Capella Cruise. So after you checked in, they will give you a backpack to take your luggage to the boat and then they give you a little welcome drink. It is a lemon tea and it's really refreshing. The staff just came by and gave us a room key. It is currently 11.40 a.m. right now and they told us that we are going to start boarding the small boat at 12.10 p.m. So we have some time to kill. One eternity later. Time to board the boat. Which is very impressive. Yeah, and I'm hungry, so let's go eat. Alright, so they have a buffet style lunch here. I hope you guys can hear me because the music is a little bit loud. I got pretty much one of everything. Let's try the papaya salad first. Really good, crunchy, but a good uh, sweet nuk mam sauce. I like it. Next, some beef. Very tender, good flavor. Alright guys, welcome to our room. There are three types of room on this cruise. There's Harmony Suite, Oasis, and Sky Suite. We are staying on the third floor in the Sky Suite. So right when you get inside the door, to your right is a giant king side bed. There are two lamps on each side of the bed. The room also comes with a fan. So in case you're hot, you can turn the fan on. And that is in addition to the AC. Now to my right, is the best part about this room. Now come right out here with me. This room has its own deck, which is really nice. Each deck comes with two chairs, so you can just sit here, watch the sunset, watch the sunrise. I like it, but I won't be out here too much because it's actually really hot, so I'm gonna go back inside. There's also a desk, so if you need to do some work or work with your laptop with a TV, and come over here, you have a full-size bathroom. So the bathroom, it has a sink with a mirror, and then it has has a toilet with the bidet and it has its own bathtub. What I like about this bathtub is that you can take a bath and have your own view. And that concludes the room tour. We're gonna take a rest before water activity start at 3. It is now 3 o'clock. It means kayaking time. Look like I'm about to go fishing with my hat. We need to go around the island. Oh, we can go all the way around? Yeah. He has offered to paddle while I just chill up here, so that's my plan. <laughs> just kidding. I will help in a second. So it is currently raining, but we're still gonna kayak because we already paid for all of this. We did! Oh my gosh! Hold on, I need to stretch my leg. I was on my knees for photo, okay. So like the a cruise manager was like, you are not allowed to jump into the water from your kayak or remove your life vest because there's police here and they'll take a photo of you and then we'll get in trouble. So <laughs> just thought that was kind of funny. But anyways. Most people are just paddling around a cruise. So if you just keep on paddling around these islands, you pretty much get the whole thing for yourself. 
like we are right now. Alright, we just got done kayaking and now I'm going on the slide. Yeah. Alright, uh, water fly is fun. Now we're gonna go to the pool. All the water activity was so fun, now it's happy hour. time now so let's go eat so for lunch it was a buffet but for dinner we have a set menu how many courses one two three four five courses the menu for today is treasure of the sea capella seafood soup dragon fruit salad with sauteed shrimp and, and caramelized walnuts for starter we have minced beef and bell pepper on crispy rice and for the main course we will have pan sear loco sea bass with passion fruit sauce and potato puree and to top it off for dessert we'll have banana flambe with rum and ice cream all right trying the seafood soup Ooh, interesting. It's a tomato base with a little spicy kick like finish to the end of it. As you can tell, really like the soup. It's really more tomato-y than it is seafood-y. It's also a little sweet. Really like it. Here's our second course, a dragon fruit salad. I've never had a dragon fruit salad in my life. Do you like the dressing? It has like wasabi in it. Cheers! It's very simple, yet it is really good. The rice is crispy and the beef is just minced beef. What helps add the flavor is this uh, sauce that you pour on top. Sear sea bass with mashed potato. Mm, the fish is very flaky. It has a little sweetness to it and doesn't taste fishy at all, which is great. It's dessert time. Banana flambe. Mm. Dinner was pretty good. We just got back to our room and the crew hung this thing in front of our door. So let's see what's in this. In anticipation of you enjoying a restful evening, we have prepared for you a little special treat of dry mango, which is known as a good source of vitamins beneficial to your health. So if you are curious about my motion sickness situation, I haven't taken any Dramamine, so I'm doing okay, but like every now and then when the boat is moving and if I look out into the water, it makes me nauseous. And earlier during dinner, we started swaying, I guess. I don't know, maybe like, why do you think we were swaying? Do you think it's windy outside? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird. Like, I was like, I asked Sui, I was like, are we swaying? He's like, no, you're crazy. And then he looked out and then he was like, oh yeah, you're right. We are swaying. And I was like, uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> Obviously, I am very sensitive to it. So yeah, that's that. So if you do get motion sickness, just be aware of that, that you might get a little dizzy or nauseous like I am right now. So that's why I need to lay down for now. So yeah. So the crews also have squidding tonight. So I am going to try to catch some squid for the first time. All right, I tried for 30 minutes. I got zero squid. <laughs> it was a good activity to kill time though. But uh, anyway, we're gonna have to wake up at 5.30 tomorrow to get ready for a 6 a.m. activity. So we're gonna go to sleep now. See you guys in the morning.
are going to explore the cave. You see the middle? Yeah. He said, I see the middle. <laughs> uh, I'm, the, I'm the anchor of the boat. <laughs> Audrey, how was it? Time to go back to the boat. All right guys, we just finished our last activity on the cruise and we have a little bit of free time before our last meal on board, which is brunch. So we thought we would give you guys a few thoughts on what we think about the cruise. So first off, we're gonna talk about the price. Yup, the main question that you guys all came here for, is it worth it? We pay $432 total for the two of us, including round trip transportation to and from Hanoi. In my opinion, it is a little bit on the more expensive side and for less than 24 hours on the boat. I think it will be worth it if it's less than $300. However, we still think that it is worth it to come here and check it out, at least do one of the cruise, go to Halong Bay. Would we recommend this specific cruise? I would if you're willing to pay for the price. Hospitality here is great, 10 out of 10. Yep. The room is super spacious, the bed was comfortable, we slept really well last night. Yeah, maybe because so, we were seasick. And maybe, maybe that's one of the reasons. But I would give the room like a 9 out of 10 and I mean with the views that we're looking at right now Like I mean you can't beat this view and it's nice that every single room on this cruise has a balcony I don't know if all cruises have that but that was one of the main reasons that we booked this cruise The food has been great a solid 8 out of 10 and then the last thing is like activities You always have something to do on the boat basically This is kind of like the only downtime that we had the whole entire time we were here yep. And they gave us this downtime basically just to pack up because we have to check out so overall we would give this specific cruise eight and a half out of ten that's all the thoughts that we have if you guys have any questions or anything make sure to comment down below or you can message us on instagram all right and we'll see you guys at brunch we are just enjoying our last moment here on the cruise there's every other cruise returning back to the port just like us quite nice though the breeze the sun and the sky finally come out yeah i finally cleared up a little Yep. Also, just wanted to let you guys know that Wi-Fi is non-existent on the cruise ship. So any of the cruise. Yeah, any of the cruise. So it's kind of nice. It forces you to disconnect for sure. 